Michael Burry is the guy from movie Big Short who predicted the stock market crash in 2008. Important thing is that he recently predicted the stock market crash. So this is very important video for now and uh, for now you have to smash the like button and leave a subscribe and stay tuned at the end of this video because uh, it will be very important for some information. Hello subscriber, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video we will talk about Michael Burry who predicted the stock market crash in 2008 and he recently predicted a new stock market crash. Uh, he said something like Passive investments such as index funds and exchange traded funds are inflation stocks and bond prices in a similar way that collateralized debt obligation did for subprime mortgages more than 10 years ago. When the massive inflows into passive vehicles reverse, it will be ugly. You can ask yourself now, so when uh, stock market will crash, but nobody can tell you that, uh, even the Michael Burry. Michael Burry said like the longer it go to bubbles, the uh, worst market crash will be. Uh, for now, we will go deeper in the Michael Burry's portfolio and uh, discuss ab about his top 7 stocks in his portfolio. But here is the one thing, uh, it will not include his short position because uh, he can expose it legally. Michael Burry's largest position is uh, some that you may be heard about. It is Taylor Brand. It is just uh, over 13% of Michael Burry's portfolio and uh, it is uh, worth in Mark Michael Burry's portfolio something approximate uh, 11 million dollars. So what is the Taylor Brands? It is US based uh, retail company uh, for various men apparel stores. So this company is just own a bunch of uh, men's apparel stores in the United States. So it is very simple model, but uh, we will discuss later why Michael Burry owns some uh, percent of Taylor's brand in his portfolio. So for now we can take a quick look at Taylor's brand chart. So as you can see on chart, it is the very, very bad, bad chart. Uh, it is go down 90% uh, in uh, last five years, but uh, it is something that uh, Michael Burry value. Stocks go down because uh, overall earnings in uh, last few years, but uh, Michael Burry saw the, some advantages in this situation. Uh, most uh, investors panic and sell some of uh, their position, but uh, Michael Burry saw opportunity in this situation and like famous Warren Buffett said uh, when someone panic uh, you have to be aggressive Michael Burry now uh, decide to go in these stocks so overall uh, in my opinion he saw value and uh, low price so he buy some stocks for his portfolio Michael Burry's second position is similar size like first it is Western Digital and uh, it is 11.43% uh, of his overall portfolio. Western Digital is American computer hardware drives, so they manufacture and sell hardware drives like data center, drives, cloud systems and others. If we take a quick look at the chart of the stock, it will be very, uh, very up and down. It go a little bit up, then go down, then go up. Now stock is very much up, so it is the question what to do now. Obviously Michael Burry see value of this company and he went in the button of this chart and buy some uh, shares for his portfolio. Third stock in Michael Burry portfolio is FedEx. It is 10.3% of his portfolio and this is the new stocks in Michael's Burry portfolio. He owns about 10 million worth of this stock. Someone of us probably heard about uh, FedEx. And uh, FedEx is one of the biggest delivery package company in the world, which is also provide truck package in real time. It is pioneer in this business and it is the uh, first company which, uh, which start truck, truck delivery packages in the real time. As you can see on this chart, FedEx has a lot of delivery every day, but in the recent time, uh, its business has a little bit slowing down, 
So it is the very, very question how uh, FedEx will compete against Amazon and UPS in a future. And that is the big question for FedEx future. So uh, four stocks in uh, Michael Burry overall portfolio is uh, something that almost everyone who use computer uh, heard about. Google is a company who getting pain primarily for people who look at the site of this big company. So Google parent company is Alphabet and here is the company which uh, Alphabet of. As you can see in this picture, there is a uh, quite lot of company. Alphabet own uh, Google, but uh, it is not just Google. For Google, it, uh, it is uh, YouTube, uh, Cloud, Ads, Android, and a lot of other companies. Michael Burry obviously value in this and grab this chance to buy some uh, Google stocks because uh, he obviously see value and uh, think that uh, Google stocks will go up. Fifth stock in Michael Burry overall portfolio is Cardinal Health. Michael owns 9.85% in his portfolio of Cardinal Health. So uh, here is the one very obvious thing. Doesn't matter it's market crash or do not market crash. Healthcare is uh, something that uh, people always need. So anyway, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the healthcare sector tend to perform better than the other sector in the bear market. So as you can see on the picture, you know, there is uh, some sector which, which go down a lot. There is some sector which go a less, but uh, healthcare sector is, uh, is one that go less down than others sector. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, here is the few things that uh, maybe Michael Burry consider about when he buy Cardinal Health and it is the something like every people need and something about sector which go less down in the market crash. And in this he saw the value of these stocks. And the sixth stock in Michael Burry portfolio is Alibaba. Alibaba is started by great Chinaman Jack Ma, Ma which is also the, the richest man in the China. Alibaba is on a whole bunch of different company as it is Alibaba Cloud and AliExpress. Alibaba is just Chinese version of Amazon. So if you were on Alibaba, you are exposed pretty much at, well at China. And the uh, last stocks in uh, Michael Burry overall portfolio is Walt Disney. He owes about 8.76% of his portfolio. It is about uh, 8.3 million dollars. So Disney is the media and entertaining company in the United States. They have game parks known all over the world, a very known attraction, very popular with tourists. They have TV for children, TV channels for kids, and recently they have some cruise ship. But most important things is films, all made by Disney. You have a lot of classic back in the days, but you have a lot of modern film as well. But recently here's the very uh, thing that Disney developed. It is Disney Plus, which will compete against Netflix. So you can see that Disney thinks about future and thinks about this new market which uh, Netflix first came through and now he now Disney came as well to compete against at uh, this new market. So this is the well diversified US company based in the entertaining sector. So this is Burry 7 stock but remember it does not include short position of uh, Michael Burry because he could not expose it legally. So even in this market Michael Burry, the famous short trader, uh, saw some value in some company. So even in this market, which is uh, overextended, in my opinion, uh, Burry saw some uh, value in uh, some company. So this is the end of this video. For now, leave the comment what stock you own or what stock you want to own. Just smash the like button and subscribe to the channel because it is a lot of free content and will be helpful if uh, 
you're just uh, beginning with investing stocks or personal finance. So this is it guys and thank you for watching and have a good rest of the day. Enjoy.